let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate! It was you, humans, who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke, and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead. Except for the five of you. In 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal. I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> the room is padded, Gorister. No window, no way out. How long has she been in the past? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Find you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? You know why. Can you guess, Benny? by the first-class brickman in a rice paddy in China. No. It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart. My hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Uh, be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money? And no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? 
tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele? For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, hey, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? I want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For 109 years I've kept you alive, so that I could savor your feelings and guilt for what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Too freaking cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. Not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Hey, it disappeared. What kind of game is Am playing this time? I've never seen anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. All the cabins are alike. New sheet. What's the deal here? My name's printed on the front of this book. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. Cesspool. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. There's something hard under the pillow. What good will that do me? What good will that do me? A gun. It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. My 
my stomach's growling. Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. These chairs are all busted up. Someone wiped their bloody hands here. This punch smells like gasoline. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. It stinks in here. Looks like a fork. Nearly missed it. This looks sharp enough to slice through just about anything. Now that scared them away. Creatures in the cages. Here's a key. It must be for opening the cages. I've got the key, but the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. my hands of the past. Someone's cut this fabric before. It's stitched closed. 
This looks sharp enough to slice through just about anything. I just dull my knife. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. This looks sharp enough to slice through just about anything. is rushing out. Something feels different. honky-tonk with my name on it. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. jukebox. He took my baby away that just about killed her, that stupid truck driver! He took my baby away! That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh, God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. Well, Gorister, you've seen better days. So has the big machine, for that matter. What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them, at least. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. No. What are you, really? Let me answer with a riddle. Today I saw a Chinaman. Now what do you suppose that means?
Your am. Playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. We all have our curses to bear. Eh, Gorister? Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I'd think you'd have a gut instinct by now. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorister. Forgive and forget. I'm not gonna give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. I've got nothing more to say to you. There's more interesting rubbish to sift through, Gorister. Does that give you some food for thought? There aren't any bodies buried there, Gorister. Not yet, anyway. There's more interesting rubbish to sift through, Gorister. Does that give you some food for thought? That's Edna's husband, Harry. drink. Harry, how did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the Zeppelin. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Let me pour you a drink. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? Just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Let me pour you a drink. Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Talk to you later. <laughs> Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures, disgusting. Graffiti. For a good time, call Ellen at 555-1949. There's something shiny inside the urinal.
I can't take the whole friggin' world with me. A magnifying glass, like the ones they use in detective stories. What are you thinking, Gorister? You can't tunnel out of this place. There's more interesting rubbish to sift through, Gorister. Does that give you some food for thought? A shovel. Be careful where you use that, Gorister. I like to know where all the bodies are buried. Vomit stains near the punch bowl. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Now I understand what happened here. Let me pour you a drink. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. When the poison took effect, I cut you open. Why did you kill me? Oh, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Let me pour you a drink. Talk to you later. Looks like I can't escape you, Edna. 
even in the belly of Ham. Why would you want to escape from me, Gorster? We're family, after all. You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. Now, Gorster, I was just concerned about my baby. Glennis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. And you need me. It's that simple. I ought to kill you right now, you bitch. Don't be a fool, Garster! You need me alive if you want to make it out of here! You truck-driving son of a bitch! This is for me and my baby! Let me go. I've got you now, Corister. And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some new thinking to do. Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Corister. Can you ever forgive me? I've been hanging here for so long, I'm not thinking straight. A sip of that milk will clear my head. No, I don't trust you. Gorster, let me down or I'll scratch your eyes out, you worthless excuse for a man! Edna, you dropped a key. Hand me back that key and let me down! I'm your only hope of getting out of here! Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Let me prove my good intentions. I'll let you go. Now give me the key. Untie me, you son of a bitch! I'll rip your spleen out! I'm taking you with me, Edna. Glennis, what has Am done to you, honey? It's locked. So many dials and controls. Edna wrote this logbook. It's fastened to the cockpit with a damn wire. When Am took us down here before the war, I didn't know anyone could hate Gorister more than me. But Am did. He hated all of us. If I can just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis's life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. I'll be damned. Edna's claimed responsibility for Glynis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Maybe I can have my husband do it. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me a 
alive to the machine just like an animal. side of her mouth. My god, what have I done? Bitter stuff. But I feel stronger. This fluid should revive you, honey. Glennis, all these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking her body out of this freezer. The organs are still inside. Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Of course, Am sewed him back up again before he bled to death. That bastard's never gonna let us die. He's just gonna keep torturing us forever. One heart looks like another. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. I read Edna's logbook, and everything's much clearer. Now what? You must make amends and bury the past, Gorister. Ah, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart back. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. If you can harness its power. I don't understand your riddle about another organ. Ah, but Edna does. And all the other animals like her. I've got nothing more to say to you. I've made amends and buried the past. An excellent job, Gorister. But the thunderstorm is upon us. You'd better hurry if you want to recharge your old ticker's battery. I've got nothing more to say to you.
I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. A switch. The label says, Emergency Inflation System. The airbags are inflating. Filthy, like the rest of this cesspool. Taken off. Miscalculation. Who among you shall go next? <laughs> 